Okay, man, so I'm on air. I don't think before I said I was on air. All right, yo, what's going on, stream? This is your boy, Classic Keys. Um, most people know me as Keys. Um, I'm known as the GOAT, winning a lot of uh, Madden Bowls. You know, last year, 12 Bowls, 15 appearances. This year, two Bowls, um, one win, two appearances. And um, I'm coming with you from the Arsenal for the uh, nickel 335 defense. This is what I like to do out of the... Um, Nickel, well, not the nickel three 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 five, the nickel two four five. Um, there's several plays in here that I actually run. Um, so I'm giving you guys the two four five scheme first. I have so many schemes defensively that I come out in. Um, so I'm giving you the nickel two two five two four five first, and I'm gonna let you. Uh, what's going on out of that? Uh, first, I'm gonna like to uh, pick another controller, slide it over. Um, just to let you let you guys see what's going on here. Um, out of the nickel two 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 four five, I uh, would like to go to buck slant three. It's a lot that you could do with the uh, buck slant three. Um, let's go to a regular shotgun normal. Let's go to gun doubles or something, and let's go to like say if somebody wanted to throw a bomb. So running stock, the play is real good running stock. As you can see, it's nothing there until he rolls out. But let's let's actually back this play. Let's actually back this ball up. Um, just so we want to respot the ball. <clears throat> let's respot the ball. Uh, straight down here. Now first, I'm basically gonna run the play. Show you how it goes. This is how the normal setup is. And this is how the setup that you want. You want to overload the side right here. And you want to use this middle linebacker, Shazier. Once you're overloading the D tackle on the left side, um, he cannot really get too much on that pressure going on, on on anything. He cannot get no pressure to pick up all those blockers. And some people might try to um, use a Beasley over there. But I'm going to just run the play and let you show how I go. As you can see, we get instant pressure um, right there. It's it's going to come it's going to come through. Now the, now the play we want to do is it's 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 buck slant three, and what you want to do is you want to uh, base a line. Um, you basically want to base a line, uh, contain, uh, shift to the right. There's different things that you could do to make that come in, but. The way the the way I usually run it is, I basically let's reset the play. The way I usually run it is, I basically uh, base a line, shift your linebackers to the left, press, uh, hit L1, slant outside, and then double tap L1 to click inside the D tackle, and then you want your guys to look like this. this. Is a real easy setup. You know what I'm saying? It's a real easy setup. It's not that bad. And here we go again instant pressure right on the outside um i know a lot of people wanted this blitz a lot of people wanted to know what this blitz was about i have many blitzes out of the same setup that's in three four four three any type of any type of pressure where you could just overload the side you can get it in now if um now a guy can prevent this if he was to block the running back and shift him to the left now let's basically run the play and it's basically still going to get there the pressure is still going to get there so for the opponent to actually block this he will need to uh, block Elliot put Elliot on its side and basically uh, line protect on that side like I, I would basically block I would basically block him um, I would basically block Elliot and then uh, slide protect to the left and see what pressure you can get. Usually, you might have to pinch um, to get that over. But this pressure will come automatically, man. And you see how fast it took me to set that up. Instant pressure inside and out. 
Um, this is like one of my favorite blitzes I go to when you see people go from three wide receivers, four wide receivers, even five wide receivers. The blitz is going to come in. So basically, one more time, we're not going to take too much time telling you to set up. Uh, basic, basically, you base a line. Uh, you hit R1. You shift the LBs to the left. You uh, press. Then you hit L1. You slant outside. And then all you got to do is spy the left uh, D tackle and most leagues they want you to blitz three here we're blitzing four so we're pressuring on in on that side and one more time when we show the play the pressure is instant that we're gonna get instant now um, a lot of people is gonna be like man what if they do something like this you know what if they just do something like this and the pressure gets there and here we go we was to set up the play and we was to do something like this and they would go snap the ball and they would go hit they would go hit Beasley out for out route or they'll hit Beasley on for a uh let's say a, a you know a curl or something like that. But the pressure is gonna the pressure is so much there, man. Um go ahead, Brock the running back. And they'll let's say they'll do something like that or whatever. Basically all you gotta do is when you setting up this play, and a lot of people don't know. Um, we're going to base the line, shift the line back to the right, press, uh, s s slant inside, and then fade, and then I'm uh, not fade, and then spy. You will want to use it as anyway. So you're going to be uh, you're going to be in this vicinity. Most times I come over and jump plays. If people try to hurry up and pressure it, I will hurry up and throw, you know I will hurry up and play that. But if they're going to be like flatten and whatever, all you got to do is hit triangle and hit underneath and now now the purple routes become hard flats that's basically how you want to play the flats and play down just in case they do want to throw something so let's say if we try to get this out to uh jason witten and beasley and we sit here and block the running back and basically look they're going to play on the ball like it's they're not going to go far they're going to play on the ball so it's nothing that you know your opponent can do you can't annoy them um, with anything it's very good um, against the run as well if we set up the play it's very good against the run so I'm gonna show you one more time I'm gonna set up the play even against the run you, you're definitely getting good pressure so we're gonna go ahead and run the ball and it's definitely it's definitely good against the run the holes is the holes are definitely be there all right so we're gonna go ahead and we, we're gonna go to a uh, <clears throat> It's crazy because I'm, I'm getting a lot of people that's coming in on the stream right now. And I'm glad that people are actually watching the stream. <clears throat> and I know a lot of people wanted to know this blitz and what was my setup and how does my setup go. So this is basically um, this is basically how I set the play up. And there's different plays that you can set this play up to um, inside this. So we're going to go to nickel 245. All right, so we're going to go to nickel 245, and now we're going to go under center. It works under center as well. Um, let's go to, like, the ace close, and let's see if we wanted to get something like a uh, bench or something like that. And um, basically, and I keep my I keep my thing on. I keep my, um, my the, you know, auto shift on uh, most of the time. Um, I got Nightbot from, <laughs> I got Night, I, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you uh, later on. So basically, you base a line, shift your linebackers to the left, press down, uh, spread, and slant outside, and then boom. Basically, it's, it's easy. You could do this less than five seconds. You know, you could do this less than five seconds. You go ahead and go it out, and here come the pressure. There go the pressure. You're, you're going to get crazy defensive pressure if you do the setup right. And like I said, if they were... If they were trying to drag and do drag, you're definitely going to know your opponent um, with this. Um, I advise you not to run this against me because I know what to do. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people who try to. I know there's a lot, a lot of people who try to do who tried a good setup against it, but it's it's. I'm gonna tell you how to actually stop it as well. Now let's say if they was doing drags, and here you go, they're doing the drag. All you want to do, like I said, you want to hit triangle, hit underneath, and they're going to play the drag route. Um, towards what and the pressure is going to get there but they're going to play the drag route as you can see Shazier's there if you're using it's going to be there so um 
That's basically how that's going against that. Um, now against five wides, we're gonna go to a five wide. Let's go nickel two four five. Buck slant three. The buck slant three is uh, is awesome, man. You guys cannot. Let's go to empty tray. Um, all right, so now we have five wides on the field, and I'm basically wanna. You basically wanna shift. You want to switch the play if you got it on that. And basically, you want to base a line, shift your linebacks to the right, press down, uh, hit L1, slant outside, and basically flat these guys. Now, in five watts, I'm basically thinking that they're going to do flats. If it's like 10 yards, if they got to go out, this is what you want to do. You got to protect the bomb. You play it like this. You play it like this because the pressure is going to come. Say if they want to sit here and they want to throw it. The, they want to sit here and wait to throw it to Williams. Look at that pressure. The pressure. They're going to throw that ball out there and they're going to end up throwing the pick. The pressure is going to be out there. Now, in five wides, you can also block. Um, you can also uh, block uh, much of this scheme as well. You got five blockers. I'm going to show you how to really block this scheme. Uh, what I usually do if I want to use five wides and I want to get the ball out to Butler or something like that, I basically want to like grab either Witten or Beasley. Let's grab Witten. We're going to grab Witten. If you hike the ball in the middle of the play, he's going to come out and pick up one of the blockers, and then you'll basically go out there. But like I said, the pressure is going to be there so much that you're going to throw out the pick. I got to wait till he gets back over, but this is how you block it in five wides because I want to show you how to block it and how to get, how to get it, you know, how to get it done. We're going to basically play the flats over here. We're basically going to play the flats. And if it was five wides, you'll basically want to take Witten over here, shift to the left, and then snap the ball. And then you see how Witten's getting over, and now you have time to get the ball over to somebody else. So that's basically how you pick that up. But most people, they're, they're not going to think that you're – they're thinking you're going to play coverage. They're thinking you're going to play coverage, so – even if you was to hike this ball regularly snap, that it's still going to be good pressure. And it's still going to be time that you can get there and you can get the interception. So um, this is basically the 3-3-5 wide. It, I mean, this is basically the, three, uh, the nickel 2-4-5 uh, buck slant. That's the nickel 2-4-5 buck slant 3. And man-to-man um, -man is pretty good. You want to do the same setup for man Let's go to a empty cowboy or whatever. Let's go to let's go to something. Matter of fact, no. Let's 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 do the same setup. Same. I, I'm not gonna try to get all cute and fancy. Pa shot goals. <clears throat> now the same thing can happen for man, as in the man to man. Same thing. Same setup. Uh, you base a line, shift your linebackers to the left, press, spread, lbs, slant outside. Boom. Setup is done. The setup is done. Now, if you wanted the pressure to get there, um, if you wanted the pressure basically to get there, you still a user on this linebacker right here. But the pressure still get there if you was to go ahead. Let's say let's uh, click uh, Beasley, and then you will go over here and you would mainly probably run if 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 they want to block the running back because most of the time they're going to block that running back. That running back is going to be mainly be blocking. So you'll take the linebacker here and you'll man him up with Beasley. How you man him up? You double tap R1. This is the quickest way. Double tap R1 instead of clicking on him. You hit Timmons. You hit man coverage on up, and then you hit Beasley. So now that you got that pressure going on right there, and you all you got to do is watch out for Witten, you're basically it. You could take one of the safeties and man to man him up too. And here we go. You hike the ball. Here come the pressure. And this is a man to man. This is the same type blitz that we did in the 245. And we can do it in the man to man as well. I'm going to go over it one more time again. So basically, all you do is you base a line. Um, you shift your linebackers to the left. You press. You spread your line. You hit L1 again. You slant outside. You hit L1 twice. You hit Matthews, the D-tackle. You spy him. Now, you still got three blitzing. All you got to do is double tap triangle. Hit the cornerback. Hit blitz on a down. Hit the linebacker. Hit up and hit triangle. 
Now, this is how the play is going to be set up. And then if you want to move him over just a little bit more, just in case he don't quick snap and throw the ball, you move him over just a little bit more. And this is basically it. And then basically once you snap the ball, here come the pressure. So this is a, a crazy blitz that you want to do out of man-to-man -man and out of the 245 buck slant three. So now I'm showing you out of the, what the nickel 245 can do. Basically crazy. You can cover these things. So for my tough for my cover two guys who likes to run cover two. Okay, we got the nickel two four five. We got the Tampa two. And what I like to run, let me see if it's in here. The Tampa the Tampa two is the Tampa two is very good. You can use the Tampa two as well the same way. You can use the Tampa two the same way. This is for my cover two guys who love to use cover two. Um, the same setup, man. It's the same setup. Instant pressure. The pressure will get there. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. I, right? I got you. So basically, here we are in the cover two, and they're running the same play. So basically, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the same setup. You base a line. Um, you shift your linebackers to the light. You press. You spread your line. Slant outside, and here we go. We already pressure him right there. Now here we go. We blitz him. We blitz. We blitz. Be bleasy. Beasley. <laughs> bleasy. We blitz Beasley. And instead of you just having this hook, you can have this hook all day long. You could play the cloud flat, or you can also in cover two if they're doing like I, I like to play the cloud flat. And to play the cloud flat. All you got to do is hit triangle and hit over top. You can play the cloud flat. The cloud flats basically stops the out routes and everything that's going on. Uh, now, basically what you want to do here, I would like to protect the middle with the linebacker. I'm a lurker. I'm a, lur I'm a linebacker lurker. I will lurk you all day with the linebacker. I know how to shift. I know how to uh, strafe. I know how to do anything that, that, that that's what's needed. So here we go. We got the play set up now. A lot of people are going to want to try to throw to Beasley. So like I said, you could just double click R1 and you can man coverage and play on Beasley. Now we still got the cover two set up going on. And basically what we do, we snap the ball and we still got instant pressure. Now this is out of the cover two. It doesn't take long to set up. It doesn't take long to set up at all. I'm done. That was like seven seconds, five to seven seconds. Look at this. I'm done. And then here we go. We snap the ball. Boom. Instant pressure. Bam. We overloading on the side and we playing man to man. Nothing is being covered. Nothing is being watched. Man. Um. So this is the nickel two four five man. I hope you guys basically enjoy, enjoy, enjoy that this nickel two four five like you know you can and you can do the same thing out of the cover three same setup don't matter any play but the buck slant three is the best play but i'm your boy keys man make sure um you like you follow and you subscribe me on youtube and make sure that you follow me on twitch as classic keys um you basically just got the nickel two four five juice and um i thank you all right so we head out of here and um i'll see you guys on the next twitch and the next Twitch and YouTube stream will be on offense. Alright? No doubt. <clears throat>